Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Nave and Gaming where today we are going to be continuing Dead Space Remake. Now, I have finally been able to get around to some of the major issues with my last episode and also about my last episode. Sorry about the quality. I know that the quality is stuck to a whopping 720, but you you don't understand. <laughs> I have no editing software to work with. I am I am so and my my laptop is dead is is a, is a dead PC basically. It's it can't do anything other than like some basic things, and so trying to get it to do anything it's a uh, it's a bit of a bitch. But yeah, that being said, uh, sorry about my last uh, video's uh, quality. I know that's not exactly what everybody would like to have, but that's just how things panned out. Uh, this time I'm going to pay more attention to my button presses on my, uh, on my OBS. So that way I know exactly what's going on and I'm not doing something stupid and I end up creating a situation where I have to merge two different videos together. And mind you, it's not that I don't have editing software. It's just that my the my laptop software for uh video recording and and video editing is such garbage that it takes forever. For it to do anything. Literally forever. It's the most garbage uh, thing I have ever seen. And I am planning on eventually, now that I have a now that I have a PS5, I'm planning on like saving up my next big pay my big my next big spendy on uh on of course getting a, a better computer for recording purposes that way it'll make the process so much easier oh he's talking to me now Maybe I'll even buy a new capture card to go with it because I, I wouldn't say this is the perfect capture card. It's certainly better, but it's it could it it, it, it it's uh I mean I wouldn't say it's better. It could certainly be better. Like I look at what my uh, my capture card is able to pull off, and it's at a whopping thirty frames per second. And I, and with a, it's supposed to be 4K HDMI with like, and I, and I know the quality is supposed to be 180. And that's kind of what I was aiming for was at least HD with, uh, you know, 180. So, yeah. Where am I going? Oh, oh. <laughs> that's for that that's where i'm supposed to go but yeah anyways enough about all that uh technical background bullshit you all didn't come here to watch me to rant about stupid shit you just came to watch me play this game and so i shall that's not what i wanted probably just be simpler just to pick up an object and just shove it all over okay maybe not out of the way, out of the way, out of the way. Anyways, let's get moving. Well, beautiful. Alright, but anyways. <sighs> Wonderful. So, last we left off... Oh. 
Last we left off, we found Mercer. Mercer executed Temple. And then, after that, I went and ran around like a chicken with its head cut off. And, uh, I kept looking for, like, the way to proceed forward. And I was being stupid, because apparently I, my goal was just to run away in that moment. Oh, boy. But yeah, my goal was to run away in that moment, but I just kept lingering. And eventually after I left, I just, uh... Well, I continued on. And... Ran into a few... Enemies that were... A bit of a pain in the ass. I also collected all the upgrades that I need because that's important. Genuinely important, because now everything is going to have the potential of doing a lot more. I hear it. I don't see it, though. But I hear it. And, yes, I am breaking all the corpses. I will break all the corpses. I that would it would be the smart thing to do. The doctor understood. He said there was gas that could help me. He made sure all the pipes were connected. Nice deep breaths. It's through the nose and out through the mouth. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Thank you, doctor. Thank you for everything. Oh man. You brainwash people as a breathing in this terrible gas. Well, you certainly brainwash one person into it, though. Oh, God, I know what that sound is. Oh, hello. Oh, fuck. Alright, time to do my thing. Wow. That died instantly. Okay. I'm not going to question that. I'm just going to accept it. Is it just me, or did I literally pick up a gas and then immediately use it? Oh, it w there was an oxygen tank right here. Did you drop anything? Oh. Okay. Oh yeah. Let me look at my settings. Audio. 3D audio. I'm just gonna switch to stereo. Like, it doesn't matter what the input is. It's... It's garbage no matter how I deal with it. And that's because I can't set up my audio settings as, as well as I want to. And if you, in case anyone's want, well no, no one's wondering, but <laughs> I, I do have my audio set up to where I'm listening to my OBS gameplay of the thing. So, so that way I can pay attention to any fuck ups that happen. At least that's the idea. <sighs> Instead, the sound's constantly breaking, and I don't know if. And it does not, that does not happen in the video itself, which is great. I do, I should just trust it. Because it seems like it never, my, nothing ever really goes wrong with my OBS. At least as far as I've seen and as far as I know. I haven't really been watching my videos as I've been uploading them. Because I don't have the time 
to do that except on my weekends and it's not it's not something that I even want to do on my weekends. In fact, I I tend to prioritize wanting to I've I've switched to a new idea of just stocking up on videos so that way I can focus on other things while still being able to post videos at least every day. One video every day. At least that's the idea. But that's uh it's not going as well as I would like it to. Toxic hazard cleared. Yes, toxic hazard cleared. Where am I going with this? Going backwards. That's where I'm going with this. Toxic hazard detected. I hear that SOB, I just haven't seen him yet. Destroy the tendril in standard quarters. So what, I have to follow the tendrils now? There. Oh, hey, buddy. How you doing? Alrighty. Man, I could have handled that so much better. I'm a little bit off my game. It's been a couple of days. <laughs> How's my inventory look as well? Okay, not bad. I could just waste these. They're, they're not good for much. Let's see. I got a good stock of flame rounds. Might as well switch those in. Oh, I see. Hello. Well, uh, hi and goodbye. Man, I'm not taking risks with those things. No risks out of no risks here. Nothing like that at all. Hell fucking no. Those things will kill me without question. I'm back here. Okay. God, I hate the fleshy bits. Where am I going through here?
look, I'm back here. How wonderful. Oh, look, that elevator's finally usable. How wonderful. Let's go up. I'm not wasting time here. Oh, I'm losing it. There we go. All right, where's the next one? Where are you? Where are you, you bastard? I guess you're further up. Oh. Oh. Neat. Hmm? Muns. The marker room is a safe area. It's the last place I think would be safe. Alright. Where is, uh... Don't have a stasis pack. Alright. Let's grab another stasis pack. Uh, I don't need oxygen tanks. And while I'm at it, might as well just take all the ammo I have. Just, just stock the hell up. Because it's clear that we're in for, for a hell and a half over here. Hell of a ride. Man, oh man. I have so much space thanks to this suit upgrade. Okay, I think I'm gonna save up my money again. I guess it looks like... Oh, no. I guess I have all my, uh, my inventory slots now. Neat. Hmm, I guess now would be a good time to really, uh, test out the in-game equipment. Maybe I'll pull, maybe I'll whip them out just to see what they look like. You know what? Why not? I'll whip them out and see what they look like. Since I got all the suit upgrades, apparently. Alrighty. And it saves up all the suit levels, too, so I can wear them whenever. All right, so let's see. Legacy rig, lone survivor suit, infested suit. Let's see what the legacy rig looks like since, you know, first game look. And we've already, in fact, let's go ahead and just do a quick comparison. All right, this is this suit as it's currently right now. Pretty neat, pretty good, pretty standard. It's a nice suit, looks badass. It's got all kinds of great detail to it. All right. Now, let's go ahead and whip out the classic suit. Classic suit. It actually looks old gen. <laughs> it it actually looks like old gen, like an old gen suit. It's got it's got little it's got the least amount of detail on it, and the detail that's on here was clearly added. It's it's very basic looking too, compared to the other suits. Yeah, so yeah, you can really appreciate the, uh, the upgrades in this game. The upgraded style and look. Alright, let's see what the Lone Survivor suit looks like, or Infested, Venture, Bloody, Sanctified. Let's see what Lone Survivor looks like. For the lost souls forgotten in the depths of the Ishimura, survival comes at a grim cost.
There's duct tape strapped to the belt. Is that a skull? It's funny that he mounted... Oh my gosh, they're not even antlers. They're... They're... They're necromorphized hands. There's a... There's a necromorph skull up on the back of him. He's got a warning plate for, uh... Radioactivity on him, too. This... This... Oh my gosh, he's got ears on his shoulders and fingers, it looks like. That's so metal. Oh, it's even worse, because he's got, like... He's got, like... More digits hanging off the front of him. Oh, man. This is like... If... This is like Isaac Clarke if he went completely mental. I could actually imagine this is how Isaac would turn out if he never escaped from the Ishimura, and he got trapped here, and... And did never escaped after throwing the marker back on the planet. I could totally see it. All right, let's see what the infested suit looks like. When your mission is to save the one you love, not even death can stop you. How much you want to bet that Necromorph is Isaac's buddy in the in the in that crazy fantasy? He named him Jimmy. Oh, that's nasty. <laughs> oh, that's nasty. Oh my god. That is so nasty. <laughs> oh, my god. oh, that is gross. Isaac Clark literally went, literally turned necromorph. It's, and you can even see right through him. You can see the details on the other side of him. That's so fuck. That's so fucking nasty. You can't even see Isaac's face. You can see his skull protruding through the side of the helmet, but you just can't see his face. Oh, man. That's nasty. Oh, is that his eyeball? That looks like his eyeball. Is that Isaac's eyeball? Oh, my God. It's Isaac's eye. That is so creepy. His brain is out. He got all kinds of disgusting, weird shit going on. Flesh is protruding through the armor. Man. This is a truly screwed up, like, Isaac. This is probably what he would look like if he was turned into a necromorph. Kinda. He doesn't have any of the, the long limb detaching, like, tendril bits and, sh and shit, so... Now, this suit looks cool. In fact, we'll save the Venture suit for later. Bloody suit. Have you remembered whose blood it is yet? I'm assuming it's the blood of the Ishimura crew, or maybe Isaac's? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. It's just like protruding out from the front. That's nasty. The bloody suit. It looks like the basic engineering suit, but... Yeah, it looks like the level 3 suit, but bloody. Just completely drenched in blood. Just, com com just permanently stained with it. And there are blood effects on the suit when you kill necromorphs up close in this in this game, so. Sanctified suit, give yourself to the marker, be armored in its words, and make the brethren whole again. <laughs> uh Me. 
it's just the same suit. Just silver. Oh, it's literally got engravings on on the suit. It's uh it's not bad looking, but I would imagine that this is what a a uh, engineer that's given himself over to unitology would look like. He would write shit on himself, and then he would uh, wander around like this. Probably would dye his armor silverish. It's a pretty neat looking suit, but it's not that interesting. It's I like I like the details for these suits, but I feel like using reusing the same engineering suit is kind of bland. For some of them. I mean, I like the creativity for how they can make the Isaac look in his engineering suits, but um, I feel like that when it comes to the bloody suit and this suit, they could tr they could have chosen something a little different. All right, now for the one we've all been waiting for: the colors of the EDF Corps of Engineers, adopted after their victory at Europa's Kanat Kanamara Kanamara Chaos Iceworks. Cannot say that during the Resource Wars. Oh, this was from during the Resource Wars. Oh. So this is an old established lore suit. And it's uh, from a corp of engineers from the Earth Defense Force. I thought it was just EarthGov. I didn't think they had an Earth Defense Force. Why does it look so much cooler from everything else? If it's vintage, why does it look so damn cool? It looks pretty neat. It almost looks like a space ranger suit or some or something. It's it's pretty neat. I've noticed that if you're turning in a direction, sometimes the, you know, like, as you're trying, as you move Isaac, sometimes he'll, he won't actually take a step. He'll just glide across the ground, which is kind of funny. All right. Well, back to the level four suit. I thought it was a level five, but I guess there's four, four levels to them. seems to be the highest it's gonna go. I mean, you, they clearly don't go any higher because I ran out of inventory space for anything else. So, and if there is a level 5 suit, well, we'll find it eventually. Sorry, Daniels. I can't hear anything. Oh. Okay. Where is it? I'll take that. Where is it? 
burn. Burn. Get impaled and burn. Quarantine lifted. All righty. Flame rounds because uh, flame is a boss. The flamer is a boss. We cannot deny the greatness that is the flame gun. It is surprisingly effective at stunning the targets long enough for you to think about a method to kill them. And it's also very ammo efficient. It's cost effective. I'll take that. I'm not destroying it. Not until I go everywhere else. And there's a battery pack in here. We have to break all the bodies. It's the only way. I don't want them reanimating and coming after me. Sorry, lady. I have to do it to you. I hear it moving around. Guest consultation? Oh, what the hell? Isaac. Sorry, late shift. How are you? I, um... My mother, she's, um... Octavia? How's she doing? She's dead, Nicole. They both are. She killed my dad, then herself. Yeah. The church. They uh, took the bodies before I could. Uh... Oh my God. Oh Isaac, I'm. Stop washing. Stop it. Just stop talking. You said she was herself again. You said she would be better at home. I trusted you. God. You might as well have killed him yourself. But she was better. You told me to leave for the Ishimura. You, you pushed me to...
Isaac. It's me. I wish I could talk to you. She wanted to talk. I am sorry. I can make it right. I'm sorry. I can save us both. About everything. That was pretty dramatic. That's a new detail that they didn't have in the original game. Isaac literally told Nicole off. That also means that that was fairly recent. That uh, Isaac losing his mother to Unitology and her killing herself and her father was a very recent thing. No wonder why he wanted to come here. He wanted to he wanted to patch things up after he royally screwed up when he said that shit. Four skin upgrade acquired. Cool. Oh, what's this? More lore. Log retrieved. Is it recording? Can't miss anything. You're just cruelty. He's deciphering how the marker signal affects the brain. And how... He's right there. Oh my god. Ah, uh, Dr. Brennan. Let me guess. Terence Kind. Shame. He didn't understand how this tragedy represents a chance to cure death. Go on. These creatures. Reanimated tissue, cellular immortality. I, I know we've never seen eye to eye, but I understand now. There's so many I should have saved. So you came to me? Because you've learned how to communicate with the marker. I'm so close. I thought it must have the secrets that I need. You are a woman of science. Fuck. Leave the mark to me. These are your autopsy notes. Very thorough. them peer-reviewed, of course. And poor Terence isn't here to help you. Yes. There's only one man I trust now. Very thorough indeed. And useful for Mr. Harris's name. Activity has been logged. Man, Marissa really is a creepy asshole. <laughs> Fucking cornered her and then got and then took her notes from her. God, that was literally the creepiest asshole. All the more reason why I can't wait to kill his dumb ass. Although I know he's not going to die by our hand. He's going to die by somebody else's. That's how these games typically work. Oh, hello. I didn't even see you. Where'd you come from? I can hear it moving around, but it's fine. We're fine here. Man, there's always a bathroom and always something in a bathroom. Cute. about 
you. Well, I uh, wasn't expecting that. Okay, that happened. Sorry, gotta cleanse ya. Don't want you to be reanimated. It's the only way. How good am I on? I'm still pretty good on ammo. That's amazing. All right. I see some explosive barrels for when that thing shows up. So, circuit breakers. Doors. Lights. That was cute. What was the point of doing that? What was the point of doing that? Oh, I see. To get through this door when I destroy the thing. God, more of you. All right. This is the first time I've ever heard him swear from that. Oh, hello. Ow. What's it gonna take? Okay. Go ahead and switch back. All right. This gun might be useful too, if I use it on that thing at least. Use a charge shot on it. Anyways, what about side objectives? Done. All right. The way to the next area is open. All right. Put this away. Put this away. 
Load just about every other ammo. Let's buy one more med kit just cause. Maybe. Nah. Alright. Yes, other than playing this game, I recently am playing through Demon Souls, which is interesting. I'm not a big Souls guy, but Demon Souls isn't that bad. It's a... I mean, after playing Bloodborne, Dark Souls, and Sekiro, and all the other Souls titles, it's, uh... In comparison, it's not too bad. There's some differences that are a bit weird, but I'm assuming that's because of the fact that it's, a it's a recreation of a very old game. It's one of the first of From Software's Souls titles. My friends, is this what you hoped for when you signed your lives away to the church? Does this carnage look like transcendence? I don't know what lies beyond death. Not anymore. But I do know our lives are more than just fuel for convergence. If we work together, we can fight this evil. It's not too late. All right. Who are these people? That looks like Nicole. Funny. Who's this guy, I wonder? Probably another cam now. Maybe not. Here we are. The important people's quarters. CC shareholder pamphlet. What is planet cracking? Planet cracking is, quite literally, the dismantling of planets and moons on the macro scale by dedicated vessels known as planet crackers. Entire worlds are fractured with gravity tethers to reveal their, the rich seams of valuable minerals contained inside. These fractured pieces of debris are mined, processed, and then shipped to their destination. You may have read environmentalist reports claiming the destruction of a planet can destroy an entire solar system due to the disruption in the gravitation gravitation forces that hold each celestial object in orbit some of the wilder reports claim this causes the whole system to spin out of control or planets to smash into each other we would direct concerned investors to the article safe and sustainable cec's pledge to the health of our galaxy for a detailed breakdown of the truths about planet cracking the short answer is, planet cracking is perfectly safe. It provides an essential service to Earth and colonies. <laughs> I love, I love that the C the CEC shareholder pamphlet is likely is likely admitted by the CEC. Oh my God! It's just an entire CEC power humanity into the future. Yeah, it's just one giant. It really is just one giant. Uh, pamphlet that's just basically a breakdown of all this crap it's it's funny though <laughs> safe and sustainable content we would direct concerned investors to the article safe and sustainable cec's pledge to the health of our galaxy the we would direct you to go look at our at our dur, at our uh at our safety measures to to show you proof that we are in fact not doing anything weird or stupid or potentially harmful to solar systems it's the equivalent of like youtube looking at youtube itself and then being like yeah there's nothing wrong with us or it's like 
it's like uh, Twitter looking at Twitter itself, vetting itself, and being like, yeah, we found nothing wrong with our decision. So many memes get bored from that shit. To Captain Benjamin Matthias from un Unidentified Sender. Subject, confidential. Fleet position confirmed. To Captain Benjamin Matthias, referencing our pre-departures discussion, I am blessed to report that the Vested have authorized a premium stasis capsule for you aboard the Church's Holy Fleet. Congratulations. Your generous donations over the years have already covered all post-mortem stasis and cryopreservation fees. While I cannot guarantee you which arc will safeguard your physical body, all fleet vessels are designed for centuries of deep space operation and equipped with state-of-the-art defense technology, ensuring that convergence will proceed without interference when the holy hour approaches. I must reiterate that this birth is confidential upon the successful completion of your pilgrimage. Once the marker is safely delivered into church hands and all electronic records have been appropriately amended, I will be pleased to t finalize your resting place amongst the church's most blessed, including Altman himself. Jesus. Well, now we know that Benjamin Matthias was a freaking nut job. Praised be the marker and its prophets. Phobe Tremaine. Phoebe Tremaine. Sanctified Messenger, Fleet Selection, and Security Church of Unitology. All correspondence to and from this individual is monitored. Disclosure of any information in this message to heretical parties is strictly forbidden and punishable by seizure of property and or excommunication. I like how Unitology has so much power in the world that it basically, like, has control over your daily life, including, your, including other stuff. And I would say that it's funny... That oh ha ha there it's a religious angle they're they're making religion the bad guy of the story but it is a pretty cultish uh you know religion it's a it's a very cultish sort of religion it's not even really a religion at this point it really is just one giant cult oh okay I just imagined that there was a recording here. You know, one of these days, one of these days, I want to play a game where instead of fighting against the religious zealots, you are a religious zealot or person, someone of devout faith, running around saving people through your religious beliefs. I would, I would actually love to play that game. I would, I would play that game sheer, sheer, sheerly because... And I don't even think that's even the right way to describe it. I would play that game primarily just because it is it is such a different concept, such a wildly different concept that no one has broached yet, that if it should exist in any form, uh, I'm pretty sure anyone would would play it primarily because it's it's it focuses on such a unique and different take in storytelling that video games have just not you know, have, have just not approached yet in any capacity. Like, just take all the good points in religion and then just turn them into a religious, uh, turn it into its own sort of religious, uh, sort of like, uh, uh, I guess, uh, form of, like, uh, what's the, what's the best way to describe it? Let's, you know what, here's a better example. What, you know Star Wars and the Jedi? They're basically just religious, they're basically just religious space monks. I mean, they're, that's all Jedi really are—is that they're just, they're just space monks that go around and doing all, and do, going around doing all, all kinds of shit for the galaxy, and they're not trying to push their religious beliefs on anybody because their religious belief is that they have to be better because they they have power over life itself, and therefore they need to use it responsibly. The Jedi Order is literally about using the Force responsibly. And that's what makes, and that's why most people don't even, and that's, that's one of the reasons why most people don't see the Jedi Order as a religion, because it's not really a religion as it is, well, an order. But it could be seen, its doctrines and ideas could be seen as religious, and the people who, 
who operate in the Jedi Order are kind of almost like demigods. So it it works. Legend teller. Collect 150 logs. Holy crap, that's a lot of logs. Total trophy progress. 50%? I don't know what that... Oh, just in general, I guess? Anyways. Personal log. D. White. First officer. Goddamn Eunice are running the ship. So far, I know for sure. Captain Matthias. CSO Kine. 2SO Mercer. LCDR Holt. Lieutenant. LT, okay, so these are like actual positions. Lieutenant Carrillo, Lieutenant, uh, I don't know, Pitts, Reed, Maynard, Shandy, Espeleta, not a not dad, whatever the hell that is. That many senior officers just happen to be marker heads? Can't be coincidence. I know a stacked deck when I see one. Update. Check some files. A lot of those reassignments started after Director Eckers got chatty with the captain. Since when does the C suit since when does the C suite give a damn about personnel? Infidels. I love that this room has infidels written in it. <laughs> Because the guy in here who was collecting that information clearly did not like the fact that unitologists were running the ship. How do we get in here? We go through this door? Alright. Anyways, let's make some progress. Anyways, I would totally play that game. I don't even care if it's like a shitty RPG. I would play it primarily because it's just a unique story. That whole like uh, religious uh, like st uh, like story angle. Where is it? Anything coming? Oh, what's that? Executive quarters. Sweet. Where is it? Where are my assholes? Here they are. Hazardous anomaly detected. Quarantine activated. Where is it? There it is. Ow. I'm surprised that one thing didn't hit me. Oh, I didn't crush the bodies in here. Wait, there was a reanimator in here, wasn't there? I thought I saw a reanimator. Huh. Maybe I killed it with one of my attacks, and I just didn't realize it. Well, cool. All right. What do we have here? Oh. Yeah, you're funny, but that wasn't gonna fly, buddy. That was never gonna fly. Wish that would work. Sweet. 
Now that one room is unlocked. What do we have here? Money. Oh, look. Logging security card. Gold semiconductor. Where's some diamond semiconductors? Where's those? Where's also the penge treasure? Or the pain treasure? Run it. Laptop, I wish you'd stop randomly deeming me for stupid updates. I don't need it. I don't need it right now. Can't you see I'm working? Nodes? Awesome. What's that? Money? Money. Uh huh. Hidden money. Money. I'm I don't understand why this game keeps feeding me hundreds now. Cause I mean I clearly am so well in a way far into the game that I don't think I need hundreds. And in the executive suite? You will honestly expect me to believe these these suckers are carrying hun hundred credits. They're carrying chump change. That's some bullshit. These people are likely carrying thousands, if not four hundred, were four hundred credits at the very least. It's it makes no sense to me. I don't know how credits work in this in this universe, but. I almost missed that. Oh, yeah, see? 1,800. That's more like it. That marker still looks pretty neat. Alright, now the other way is going to be unlocked, right? Ah, uh, down there is unlocked, I guess. Alright, let's go. But before we do, because of course, we must save. Resident Evil 4 is almost out. Everyone's got review copies by the time this hated video hits the market. <sighs> the remake anyways. So that's going to be great when it finally hits. I can't wait to play it. Literally waiting for a chance to play it. Alrighty. Going this way, aren't I? Yep. It makes sense. These lockers aren't open or anything. I mean, that was so close to the vent, how could it not? Ah, oh, man. The hell is that? Mercer calls it the hive mind. Nexus organs in which controls these necromorphs telepathically. If we leave while the hive mind is active, well, you saw Valor. If even a single necromorph escapes, humanity is finished. Turn the marker to Aegis 7. It'll stop the outbreak? Exactly. But we need the shuttle to return it to the planet. You have a simulator for Gore. And I can let you do it. So what do you say? It'll end the 
this for good? Deal. Excellent. I, I can distract Mercer, but not for long. But get the marker to the shuttle bay quickly. Yeah, 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 Mr. Kine, just keep moving. It's funny that we have to wait for him to leave before we can literally enter the room. I like how picking up a mid pack sounds like you're picking up a soda. Man, why are all the mid packs they be giving me singles? I hate singles. Give me some real mid kits, damn it. That's destroyed. Now let's get the hell out of here. Not before we read this, though. She was only a voice at first, but now she is my constant companion again. I had forgotten how much her presence soothes me. And as always, she sees to the heart of the problem. The marker must be returned. Perhaps there's been some kind of accident. Some severance. Do the marker and the hive mind always coordinate? Or can the hive mind sleep the marker's influence somehow? Regardless, if this theory is correct, if the two are now at odds, if the marker can quell the hive mind, it will cut the puppeteer strings at a stroke. It seems obvious in retrospect. These necromorphs have no intelligence. How could they, yet there's clear, if rudimentary purpose behind their actions, especially the gathering of corpses. They're clearly following some drive to kill living organisms and gather biomass. But where does this drive come from? How does it command them? Do all necromorphs converted by the marker share this bond? Pack instinct? Or is this the hive mind demonstrating a genuine telepathic communication, perhaps the first ever observed? How painful to admit that the marker's horror still hold a fascination for me. Now I think I understand my predecessors, those who first studied the black marker rather better. The road to hell begins the, with the unprincipled curiosity. Foolish, foolish, foolish. I should have known sabotaging the engines was only a stopgap. Are we returning to Earth? Is the marker falling back into the church's hands? Yes, Amelia. There are always alternate solutions. Always. So yeah, he's uh, losing his damn mind. How much you want to bet that returning the marker doesn't actually help quell the hive mind. Rather, it's just going to embolden it. It's going to strengthen its 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 uh, its power. More like the marker itself is the thing that's controlling the hive mind, and by bringing it back to the planet to where the hive mind is, it further emboldens its power. It it just it essentially returning the marker is just returning it back to you know to form. Thank you. All right. I don't think there's anything I need. Plasma cutter. Could spend some upgrades to get fully optimized damage for the plasma cutter. But I could also get the cartridge rack for it. Or spend some to get the weighted blades so that my melee hits a lot harder but you can also spend it on pulse rifle grenades have a much larger blast radius firewalls burn for much longer 
could get it for damage. Oh, wait, that's right. Contact beam. Alright, so this is primary fire damage. This is the thing I should have been upgrading. Instead, I've been upgrading secondary. <laughs> like a dumbass. I've been upgrading the secondary fire. There we go. Alright, but it doesn't look like the primary fire does much damage anyways. But... Never should have brought it on board, Amelia. It looks like even Kynes' ramblings have, are in here. Alright, we're good on ammo for a few guns. I'll start using the pulse rifle a little more. Because I'm clearly now lacking ammo on that. Okay, Kynes clearly went this way. We're not supposed to follow him. All that's left is those damn locked doors and the marker. Hazardous anomaly detected. Quarantine activated. Come on. Just me or is the marker helping me? Sweet. Oh shit. It's lifted, all right. It's funny that uh, that one guy didn't trigger the the uh, the lockdown. The immortal necromorph didn't trigger the lockdown, even though it's a necromorph. But perhaps it's not necessarily a result of necromorphing, but maybe Mercer's constant changing and you know configurations of his body. Holy crap! This is annoying. <laughs> I love that my objective is just becoming deranged. Reach the executive shuttle. Ah, you have it. Now install the singularity core on the shuttle. I'll come help you load the marker. Damn, Mercer's close. Hurry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, buddy. I have to do it to ya. I'm glad I'm getting more ammo for Old Reliable. Old Reliable is the best gun. Oh, look at this. Boxes, explosives, a big ass room to run around in. This is. This is clearly not gonna lead to something. I've actually. This is actually no different from the original game. I've beaten the original game, I think, like, five times. Like, I love that game so, so much. I've played that game religiously. I played it almost as religiously as I play Resident Evil 4 and Devil May Cry.
And mind you, I've played Resident Evil 4 religiously. There's no other game, there's no other Resident Evil game quite like Resident Evil 4. Which is why the remake interests me so greatly. But at the same time, I'm also kind of terrified that they're going to disappoint the crap out of me. Alright, so there's the ship. Oh boy, here's where we put the singularity core. I don't see Kendra or anyone. All right, there's pipes everywhere to grab. Markers there. Can't get in this room because it's in standby mode right now. All right, time to begin the last stand. Shuttle engines to complete hardware installation. Test fire shuttle engines, huh? Flame rounds. How good is those flame rounds? Hundred and five? Nah. All right. Nothing else in this room? We are golden from the looks of it. Looking good. Kill the hunter. Ooh! Hey, buddy! Damn it, Isaac. Man, stasis is kind of shit when it's not directly on them. Yeah, screw you. Time to restock on stasis. Oh. Now you just stay right there. Pleasure doing. Oh, what the? Of course, there's a tentacle. Uh, 
Oh, man. Isaac, get your shit together. We gotta blow this thing to shit. I think we almost died there. Do you read me? Mr. Clark! Mr. Clark, come in! Fuck this ship. They're alive. Help me be. Fuck all that, too. Kendra? Yeah. But every alert on the Ishimura is screaming. Critical damage to internal systems. The marker just ripped right through the ship. Something pulled it down to the cargo bay. Kind. Pilot the shuttle to the hangar. I'm going after the marker. Of course. Amelia, quickly. Wait, Dr. Kine. That guy's lost it. He killed the captain. We can't trust him near the marker. He says returning it to the planet is the only way to end this. We've got to try. I'm heading to cargo. You ping Nicole's rig and tell her where to go. Leave it to me. Thanks. When I get the marker, we're all getting out of here. Ping it to Nicole's rig. Load the marker. Objective canceled. Keeper of the Faith, trophy earned. Chapter 10, end of days is complete. Chapter 11, alternate solutions. Oh boy, oh boy. Things just keep getting better and better. Reach the cargo bay. <sighs> Flight deck tram control. Mr. Clark, we're approaching the hangar bay. We'll meet you there with the marker. Now arriving at flight deck tram control. Yes, I mean, I guess so. We'll send the hive mind back into the darkness. So glad you gave that guy our home shot. Shit, Isaac. Those things you've killed, their biomass is pulled down in the cargo bay. It's recombined itself into. Well, it's something huge, and the marker's embedded right in the middle. How the hell do we do this? I've got the Ishimura's cargo cranes. They can move half a bay of mining gear, no problem. Whatever's down there wants to wrestle for the marker. I'm in. Override the safeties, and yes, it might work. But hurry. We're losing critical systems fast. Is it the Leviathan again? How many times do I have to freaking kill this thing before it's done? spending a metric crap ton of money. Let's see. Force gun, ripper. Let's just buy some nodes. A node. Because why not? Looking real nice down there. Yeah, 
You have a lot of ammo for the contact beam. So let's get some contact beam action. That sound. I freaking know that sound anywhere. Game's really throwing money and resources at me. Just money, though. Man, they are so much easier to deal with now. Poor gun ammo. Man, you could do so much better. Just one thing of force gun ammo won't be enough for me. Well, hang on. I didn't get all the resources. There's a lot of stuff in front of here. That's not suspicious at all. Oh, buddy, what are you hiding? Wait. Oh, that's cute. Warning. Structural integrity compromised. Now that's a real cute. There's always pinch. The game was just like, you know what, we can hide it and make it real difficult for players to find it, but we'll just put it somewhere where it's a little less conspicuous. Not so conspicuous, but a little less so. Just a little out of the way. Just a bit hidden. Oh, interesting. I guess I could do this to funnel the necromorphs when it's time. Alright, let's do this. I can't do anything about the marker. Okay, what do I need to do? Engage the cargo crane. I guess that means I have to go behind me to get to go and do that. Alright, let's do it. Let's get this shit show on the road. Thank you. 
For how long? How I almost died just there. Okay, we are... Uh-huh. Where is it? Over there? There you go. Sure, sure. Sure. Man, oh man. This is Jacob Temple. I'm being held prisoner by Dr. Mercer. That lying fucker lured me off the mining deck to build something. To make his markers start converging? I don't know. But if you find this, don't touch that marker. And if you see Mercer, run. After David, I never imagined. Fuck, he's coming back. Time to go, Mr. Temple. You can just leave your force gun here. If you want me to build your shit, I'll need it. But you won't need these modifications, will you? They look like they could hurt someone. A whole lot of them. There. Now the marker. You can go ahead of me, Mr. Temple. Take the first. Ah, uh, okay. Let's get out of here. I'm assuming we go back up. Emergency. Deck evacuation protocols are in effect.
gonna give upgrades to the old reliable or the pulse rifle. Let's do old reliable. Get that max damage output. Man, oh man. that way. Save complete. Actually, I probably should have stocked up on. Fuck, it's my brother. On the monitor, he's right by the airlock. Don't let this place get to you. Kendra, we're out of time. I... He's not there. I can make it if I run. Kendra's losing it. Everyone's losing it. certain Isaac's losing it. Lights in this room aren't even working anymore. I'm sorry, you wanna try that again? But I'm not missing. There we go. screaming baby is that
bastard. Give me a locked room. <sighs> oh, hello, explosives. Your colleague safely on board. My name is Kendra Daniel. Stand by, Isaac. He's bringing the shuttle in now. Good. Text log. I got it, I got it, I got it. Who cares how much it costs? I got it. Perfect in every single way. Every curve, every line. No ads could do it justice. Grasping hands. Everyone wants it. So where? Where is safe to keep it? Not here. Can't be anywhere public. Authorized personnel only. Right in the depths where everything's forgotten. Got to camouflage it. With other shipments. Only I can ever know. Okay. Okay, that's interesting. Guess we go this way now. Meds? Meds anywhere? Meds? No? Great. We're kind of running on fumes here. All right. Entering zero gravity. Entering zero gravity. So when I see a text like that, that draws a lot of attention to something stupid, potentially. Makes me want to go look for it, but I'm not going to do that, because that would just be wasting time. So, let's just go ahead and give a quick one run through here, a little run through here of just what's around here, and just get right to it. Yeah, no boxes, nothing to restock up ammo. <clears throat> Not even a store, I bet. Nope. I mean, I did come through here early on. So, I'd be kind of surprised if there was anything, really. No stores, no nothing. Oh, wait a minute. There are boxes here, though. Where'd this come from? Locker. Maybe they were just locked until recently. A battery. Just a random battery here. I don't know how I missed the boxes.
Where is it? but I don't see it. Oh, there it is. Alrighty. I guess now all we do is just move the marker. Or not. Okay. Something's wrong here. Activate swish tracks one. Oh, it's this one. Oh, I see. Stupid baby things. There they are. Trying to kill me. rifle ammo as well. Oh look, something's in the way. Or maybe this is where it needs to be. I don't know. Looking like it. All right. There it is. The marker. The Sankeys are still on. I need to restore gravity before we can load it. Hurry, please. What are you? Oh, diamond semiconductor. There she be. There it is. Ask and you shall receive eventually. It took near end game to finally get it. Zero gravity. 
Liberty. He's on board. Come quickly. Go open the hatch for him. <sighs> Must I do everything? engineered this red marker but they needed somewhere to test it Aegis 7 you've seen the result the stuff of nightmares I thought the old reports were just hysteria until I saw what I saw they sealed off the whole system buried the records nice and clean until CEC got greedy those idiots tore Aegis 7 apart and woke up with the old research team left behind. So Earth Gulf sent you to sweep them all under the rug. Damn it, we have to return the marker. If anyone else stumbles across each seven. It was disappeared once. We can do it again. I've seen how the marker fucks with your head. It must be contained. For what it's worth, we made a great team. You'll find another way off the Ishimura. I mean, you're one hell of an engineer. Your experiment's gonna kill us all! Daniels! <sighs> it was all for nothing. Isaac, come in, it's Nicole. Where are you? In the flight control room. Please, you have to come up here now. There's still a way out for us, but we don't have much time. Flight control room? Got it. Man, Kendra double-crossed us again, but this time it actually sounded sensible. Almost. If I didn't think she was a slimy piece of shit, I probably and she didn't work for the Earth government, I probably would think, man, she's onto something. But no, I've seen how EarthGov is in the in these games. I know what that shit's like. Danger. Containment field approaching maximum capacity. But yeah, Earth government's no better. They're just gonna... They're just gonna... They're not gonna do a whole lot different. They're probably just going to use the marker for something else. I mean, they already have another marker on a... on a diff, on an actual space colony station. The ship's coming apart. 
I saw what you've been through. Your investigation, Mercer. What happened with us? We don't have to talk about it. I need you to know I'm sorry about everything. It's okay, that's it. I know I forgive you. I love you. Well, good, but... I still hope. You can recall the shuttle and remote pilot it from here. Bring back the marker and we can return it to Aegis 7. You can make us whole again. I just want to make things right. Then let's do it together. That's clearly not Nicole. She she's even been saying the same thing that uh, Mercer has been saying, or at least that he said by the by the time he died. I mean. It, it doesn't take a whole lot of thinking to deduce. Oh, this the Nicole. This is a Nicole. Please, no way. USG docking procedures. <laughs> Damn it, Isaac! You don't know what you're doing. I know. I'm finally doing the smart thing. Fucking kidding me? Shit! Warning. Yeah, fuck you. USG Escape pod. Damn! We lost her. It doesn't matter. She can't escape her fate. But who can? There it is. Here it comes. It's coming back. Reprogram the shuttle with our flight path to Aegis 7 and join you on board. Don't leave me waiting. Never again. All right. So, we're a little low on a bit of ammunition here, but not everything's bad. We still got these semiconductors and a Penn's treasure, which I'm sure is worth a lot. At any rate... Okay. Pilot the shuttle. Well, that sounded savory. All right, anyways. Point of no return. You are about to leave the Ishimura and will not be able to return. 
I got everything. I, I did all the side quests, everything. As you can plainly see in my missions category and everything else, the only thing I need to do is get to a store, but even that's not necessarily important because I know there's going to be a store where I'm going, so. Other than that, yeah, let's just hop right to it. <sighs> I never doubted you, Isaac. I knew you'd come back from me. Where did you come from? Are you back? Yes. We're together again. Nothing can stop us now. This isn't how I imagined saying goodbye to be a Shinra. Together then. This all began in the core of the planet. Daniel said Earth Gov built the marker. Some experiment they abandoned hundreds of years ago. That's if some bullshit. Isaac, you don't think her saying that is a little weird? Also, I would have liked to see re-entry graphics and everything, but... Nope, they're just like, let's give him weird head foggy moments. Just so that way we could use that as an excuse to transition to new places. Alternate solutions. Chapter 11 complete. Chapter 12. Dead space. <laughs> Funny. All right. Here it is, boys. Aegis 7. Oh, that's cool. That's really cool. All right. Well, where the hell is she? Oh, there she is. Oh, that was weird. track leads directly to the excavation site it'll work the hive mind will obey we'll be whole again and you and i can be together god he keeps saying that come on we need to hurry you can wait semiconductor oh, we're good I guess we're going that way
imagine if that flattened Nicole. And then I got a game over because I killed Nicole inadvertently without realizing it. Or at least the figmentation of it. Alright, alright, alright. Christ almighty woman. Oh boy. Ganking me. This is not creepy at all. Look at that. Text log. PCSI retrieval order from Captain Min B Benjamin Mathias. Captain Min. <laughs> Captain Min. Retrieve victims of Union Square mass suicide from Aegis 7. Bodies are to be transported to USG Shimura Morgue with security escort. Notify Dr. G. Domas and Terence Kine upon arrival. Assignments Sergeant G. Weller, Officer Blaine, Officer Hutchinson, Private Karklitz. Authorized by Chief A. Vincent, PCSI. Comments Gabe. Yeah, I know, it's a casket duty. But I think you'll like this one. I hear a buddy of yours is down on Aegis 7. And a kitty assignment like this should leave time for a meetup. Don't scare the rookie, Alyssa. We're not in space anymore, so I don't need this. Gold semiconductor is worth 25. I'll take it. Penge, 30. Look at all of that moolah. It's beautiful. So beautiful. I really don't need this many stasis packs. Also, I never use these. I might as well should just sell them. I, I'm. I'm quickly realizing just how useless they actually were. All right. Inventory. All right. Now, let's go ahead and stock up on meds. Now, let's go ahead and stock up on my favorite resource. Oh yes, power nodes. I want all the power nodes. All right. I don't know if I'll get anything real special from this planet, but I want power nodes. I already got all that I could ever want in my inventory. 
And the size of stasis is not doing me any justice. Neither is the duration. Alrighty. Plasma cutter. Old reliable needs an upgrade. Rate of fire? Why not? Pulse rifle. Could use a damage upgrade. Flamer. Well, I could always use a little something. Duration. Alright. Line gun, contact. Greatly increased laser trap damage. Three targeting lasers instead of one. I kind of just want to focus on the damage. Plasma cutter. We're good. I'll just spend it on pulse. Pulse has got some good shit. Grenades have a much larger blast radius. That might be useful. Let's see. Do I want to spend it all on damage or also get some of that high yielding grenade explosions? devastating. Alright. Alrighty. Now then. We don't have a lot of ammo for pulse rifle, but we're good. Could always use some more of that. Uh-huh. That guy was clearly smashed through here. I'll take that. This is Sergeant Bram Newman. PSEC evacuation report. The shuttle's gone. Took off and then crashed right back down into the bay. Took a whole crowd with it. Must be a hundred people dead. We've lost the rest of the shuttles. God help us. There's no way out. Anyone hearing this, do not land. I repeat, do not land on Aegis 7. Fuck the Ishimura. They left us to die. <laughs> Thanks for your contribution. Contact me and ammo, just lying around. Also, I just remembered I got a new thing. You can use it to upgrade. Get that last damage increase for pulse rifle. Now it's going to do a lot more. 
This thing's got a bunch of kick to it now. So how do I get you to move, huh? Alright, I need a battery. Didn't I see a battery in here? Yes, I did. go. I am, I am kind of curious. Main control room. Huh. Well, I guess I can't do anything about it. Oh, shit. Okay. Well, I guess we're uh, going to continue down this way. Yeah, huh? Go ahead, try making it through here. See what happens. Well, aren't you just a fucking sight for sore eyes? things all coming from. Well, this is going about as well as I could have figured. Is it just me, or is the marker literally helping me? I don't think I've mentioned this before, right? how much I hate the fact that Isaac doesn't grip the tendrils. He never, he never grips the blades of a necromorph. Your parents. 
Your mother was a unitologist. She believed. She believed so much it killed her. Is this what she would have wanted? If she did, would that make this easier? Maybe it's a good thing I'll never know. You're not wrong. Maybe it is. I mean, how do you live with that? I seriously question how anyone else survives this horse shit. Given how relentless the enemies are. I'll take that. That. That and that. <sighs> oh, pulse rifle gun ammo is looking kind of nice. I'll take that. That, that, that. Save point. Alrighty. Alright. So, I'm not gonna lie, guys. I think I'm gonna cut the episode here. It's a little bit of a short episode because I know this is gonna be the little. This is gonna be the last one. There's uh, 12 chapters in the uh, first game, and this is the 12th chapter plus. Uh, we're almost, we're almost halfway there to delivering the marker to its pedestal, and then after that it's just a, I guess, a jaunt back, a firefight most likely, just to get back to the shuttle. And there's going to be a lot of interesting plot points and story details that are going to be revealed as we make it past this one particular point. So, yeah. I think this would all be rather uh, nice to save for a uh, its own dedicated video. So, yeah. Let's just go ahead and bull rush right through it in the next and final episode. And then it's a matter of waiting for RE4 to come out. So, with that said, thank you all so much for watching. And I hope to see you in my next and last Dead Space video. Bye bye.